Good morning. Let's see if anyone's home. All right, good morning. It's Scott. I broke a piece on my selfie stick. I'm gonna wait and see if anyone comments and see if we get any people going here. Let's see. All right, um, I guess I'll just start. I don't know, lately the comments haven't been showing up. But anyway, I'm here in New York City at my local quilt shop, uh, Gotham Quilts. If you're ever in New York City, this is the block that my office is on. It's on 37th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue, and they're super kind to let me um, use their space where they have their classroom and all their classes. And uh, I really appreciate that, and it's really a great space to work at. All right, there we go. Someone's coming. Good morning, Sandy. So uh, last night I had the great pleasure of going to the Molly Pitchers Quilt Guild, and that was in Manalp in New Jersey. Uh, we had a great night, lovely group of women. Uh, hopefully they uh, learned something and um, gained some valuable lessons, learned about fabric and such. So um, I'm back again. It's that time of the month when I do the videos of the lines that the Jaftex companies shipped out in the previous month. So uh, I just put the air on, so I'm gonna try to talk loud because I am gonna be um, not on me, I'm gonna be on the fabric. So I'm gonna turn around and let's start that way. All right, so I got a lot of things laid up, but let me start off by telling you what we're gonna be seeing. So we have Itty Bitty Crazy by One Sister for Henry Glass. The Moon and Back by Leanne Anderson, Busy Bees, Sleepy Bear Flannel, Bumble Garden Flannel. Then from Studio E, we have Boho Baby, Hearts of Love, Viva Terra, Transparencies 108 Wide. And then from Blank Quilting, we have Home Sweet Home, Thi oh, Thing I wrote, but Thin Red Line, So Buddies, Hot Chicks, and Tutus and Toe Shoes. So that's what we're gonna do today. Can you guys hear me okay? Because the air is on, otherwise I'll be sweating profusely. So uh, let's start over here. I think this makes the most sense. Uh, let's start with the Studio E lines. So this one is a real favorite of mine. Butterflies always sell really well. They're great for girls, for women, for inspiration, for people suffering in their lives through tragedy or what have you. They're very uplifting. And this one is called Viva Terra. This is by one of our in-house designers, Marlin. Marlon is one of our junior designers. We are, we are breeding them, not breeding them, teaching them to become a lead stylist and manage uh, all the, the assets and all the art that we have for a specific company. So this, this is the panel. It's such a great room because I could put the panels up against the wall. I need this like in my house, all the sticky stuff. So here's the project. So as you know, if you go to the website, www.studioefabrics.net, you could go to the free project section. We always have tons of free projects for all the collections, and uh, that's a great asset for you to take advantage of. They are there for you. Um, I hope this is still going. Are we still going here? Um, all right, there we go. All right, so here's the line. Let's look at it. Look at this beautiful, big butterfly. I'm tight on space, so I, I couldn't really open these up, but this one is worthy of opening up. Look how beautiful these butterflies are. Really nice. So then you have the small butterflies, you have this little uh, geometric, kind of like a prism, and then you have these rocks. Look how sweet these are. Good morning. These are really nice. These, um, I love the colors, the contrast. Here we go, the pink version. And then you have these soft leaves, and then you have, of course, the beautiful succulents. So that's Viva Terra, that's by Marlin in our office. This is in shops now. Um, ask your shop if they have it or Google it online and hopefully a shop will come out and say that they have it so you could buy it. It really is a nice line. All right, so next up, for all you guys that don't like to piece your quilts, we have a new 108 wide back in. Uh, our 108 wides, we sell to the shops in 18 yard cuts because typically customers buy three yards to back a quilt. So this group is right here. We printed these in Pakistan. That's where we produce most of, most of our 108. This one, you can't tell, it's very subtle, but it's a white on white. And then we have the grays, the beiges. Uh, we always debate in our offices which colors to use. And it turns out that the same colors are always the best sellers, the black, the red and white, the beige. And uh, every time we try to do purple or green, it just ends up being kind of a dud. Um, it's a little bit boring, but that's what the numbers are telling us. So listen, we got to listen to the numbers. Uh, numbers tell the uh, truth. So um, let's see one more thing. Let's see what Marlon has on the selvage here, because I want to focus on some selvages today. 
before we move on. So here we go. Here's the selvage she did. Cute butterflies, lots of cute selvages I saw today when I was setting up. And by the way, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I forgot the shop doesn't open until 11 and I had scheduled this for 11 and uh, that's that. So here we go, next line. This one is another Studio E line. This is called Hearts of Love. And this is the stripe, really nice. Love, love this wall that I could hang things up on. And then here we go. This is a great line for, you know, Valentine's or a loved one, a family member, someone you're, you're thinking about and caring about. A nice paisley, all these different hearts. Hearts, hearts, nice dots. Order, it coordinates really nicely. Um, more hearts, some words. The little cherub, more words, more words, and the big hearts. So that's Hearts of Love. That one's by Studio E again. And here we go. Here you have it, the stripe. So next up from Studio E, we have Boho Baby. So let me start, I'm gonna show you the panels. I'll give you a, a kind of viewing of the whole wall so you can get an idea. You saw Viva Terra, low network connection, stinky. Um, all right, here we go. So here we go, Boho Baby. This is the panel. This looks like a 36 inch panel and then we have it in another colorway. I kind of was trying to take advantage of all the space that I had, but hopefully you could see it. Let's see down here. All right, so then here we go. Here's the line. So this is kind of a, a uh, Native American Indian line um, with fun little animals. So we have the dream catcher, of course. These, these have been popular. They continue to be popular, the arrows and then more of the arrows in two colorways. You have the kind of pig story, and then you have the turquoise story. So we have the elephants, and our elephants have their noses up, their spouts up, which is, I think that means good luck. So uh, we don't want to wish anyone bad luck. And then you have more elephants and teepees, and more elephants and teepees, and then you have the stripe here in two colorways. So here you go. So this is a real fun line, really uh, makes me smile. Uh, this one is called Boho Baby. And then let me show you, this one is by Diane Eichler. And uh, by the way, Hearts of Love, which is this line, that one was by Charlotte Fultz and I should have said that, that was not good. So, um, and then here, let's see what we got here. So we got these little elephants. Um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There should be 18 elephants. Uh, again, 18 screens, 18 different colors is the, are the number that we are uh, permitted to do uh, when printing in Korea. If it's more than 18, we will either try to cut it down and um, find colors to use twice, or we will go to the digital printing, uh, which is in either uh, Pakistan or China. China right now is a bit of a problem because of the tariff. Um, so let's go, next line. So this one is, oh no. And there we go. I guess I'll be holding this, sorry. Oh man. All right, sorry, so I guess I'm gonna be holding. This selfie stick is really not worth its money. All right, so I'm gonna be holding. So we got Home Sweet Home. This is a really nice, another happy, fun line. Sorry about that drop. Um, as I was telling the people at the Quilt Guild last night, you know, it's not about my perfection of you know, performing this video or whether I drop the camera. It's just about the content. Uh, you guys know I'm not an actor. You know I'm not perfect. Um, I've said that a million times, but I will hang in there. I'm not gonna cry and get all upset and, and get bent out of shape and whatever. I just continue plugging away. I gotta get my mission done. And my mission is to show you all the lines. So I, that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna deal with it as best as I can. So uh, you know what, they throw you punches. You gotta just, duck them and deal with them. So this is the home sweet home line. We have nice bees. We always do really well with the bees. Pineapples have been super popular lately. These nice bright colors. We have the bicycles. Hello Cheryl, hello Emily. Then we have the little Scotty dogs. We have the little bird houses. And then this is the one I really like. I've seen a lot of quilts made with different fabrics that actually create this effect. Uh, but we did it here, right here for you. This kind of crowded house kind of effect, and uh, I wanted to show you the selvage on this line. So here's the selvage, it's little Scotty dogs, and uh, that's that. So that's Home Sweet Home, that's by Studio E. Again, all the lines I'm going over with today are in the quilt shops now for the most part. 
Uh, if your quilt shop has it, great. If not, go kind of seek out another shop that might have it. You could always call me and ask me uh, which shop in your area has it. That's always good. You could always Google online. And remember, I always like to tell you, shops cannot buy every single line that we offer. They're, they just don't have enough money, enough space, and it just doesn't make sense. They have to try to do what's best for their clientele. So that was this, the four Studio E lines. We had Viva Terra, Hearts of Love, Boho Baby, and Home Sweet Home. Now we're gonna go on to the blank quilting. And uh, blank quilting, I'm gonna start with the panel. So this is Tana Mueller. Tana Mueller is Western Denim and Dirt. She's probably one of our lead stylists for uh, blank quilting. And all of her lines, for the most part, she does, uh, you know, kind of heroes, let's call them. Uh, we have the American Honor line by her. We did the Thin Red line. So. Uh, firemen, troopers, uh, you know, Navy SEALs, um, Army guys, w whatever it is, all these different people who are protecting us, uh, she pays homage to them. She actually was a police officer, so that's kind of neat. And she's in Texas. She also specializes in Western lines. That's a lot of what she does, and, and she does uh, make some great contributions to blank quilting with all of her um, Western lines. Those do really nicely. So let's look at this line. So you have your little um, logos and stuff. You've got your little Dalmatian and the uh, fire hydrant. You got it in two colors. You have this great brick print, which could be used on this line or any line. We have the fire trucks. I mean, look how nice this is. Really nice job. And then we have this kind of sketchy, sketch like design. Really kind of nice. It's a nice tonal. It's in that chark, like the smoky charcoal, which is really nice. And let's see here, you can see, you can see what they're doing. So firefighters doing their thing. So um, shout out to all the firefighters, all the soldiers, all the people protecting our great country that we're so lucky to reap the benefits of our freedom. So here we have some words, we have the flame, we have the thin red line, and then here we have the little stripe. I'll put that down there. So um, that is thin red line. And again, that's by Tana Mueller of Western Denim and Dirt from Texas. She will be at the quilt market for anyone who's gonna be there. You will have the honor to meet her. She's a lovely woman. So next up we have a ballet line and I'm gonna start off with the panel. This one's called Tutus and Toe Shoes. And here you have the little panel with the different, uh, ba the ballerinas in the different positions. Uh, kind of tight on space here. So I did the best that I could, as I always do the best I can. Um, just gotta get it done, make it happen. All right, so here she's doing the little plie. Maybe I'll do one for you later. But here we go. Here are the coordinates for the line. We have the different poses, and um, we tried to make sure that we had uh, different ballerinas of different ethnicities. Uh, that's important to us. Um, you know, we don't want to discriminate against anyone. We want everyone to feel included. That's very important. And then we have these little roses, and then we have the little ball ballerina in the circles with the shoes the little outfits, and then of course we have the words, and then some music notes, uh, which could go with this line. Actually, this is funny, it looks, this looks black uh, on my screen, but it's really gray. And then we have a white and black, and then of course we have the stripe. So here you go with the stripe. I am bending down on my knees, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up from this position, but hopefully I will have to get it motivated. All right, so that's tutus and toe shoes. Next up we have a fish line for all you coastal people or people who are into fishing or sea life. This is a great juvenile line. Uh, lots of really cute, uh, very smiley characters. Uh, they make me want to smile. Fish, and then let's see what the selvage is. Selvage, we have little fish. Again, 18 different little fish there. I don't even have to count. I know it's 18 because I know that's how many we can print in, on the um, machines in Korea. So here, let's look at the coordinates. We have these great jellyfish that kind of look like nice and friendly jellyfish, even though if you get stung by one, it's not so nice or friendly. And then we have the blue version. We have the lobsters. Lobsters always sell really well for a lot of those people in those uh, you know lobster fishing areas or the, this, the um, coast. And this is my favorite. I love this. I think this is such a great, great, fun design. It could really be used for anything. Um, but almost like a basic, but so fun. And just these little fish moving in different directions, um, really versatile and useful for any sort of fish print or any kind of kids design or a border or something like that. And then we have all the 
the sea creatures all together. Here's the little puffer fish and the little, um, the little um, octopus and the starfish. And then here we have the, the, all the tropical fish swimming around in all different colors. And then we have the, the fish on the blue. And then of course we have some colorful coral for the coral reef. So there you have it. Let's go, I'm gonna give you a little quick run through of everything, Let's show you the selvage, show you all the fish, and there you have it. And then again, here's the panel, really fun panel. Our panels for the most part are 24 inches or 36 inches. Um, I also have this to add to the line. This is fun, this is a block print, and I'm gonna show you all the little blocks. But these are fun, you could cut them out or use them just in rows really fun and cute and inspiring and happy we want to be happy 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 and then finally we have a book so this is the book panel this is how it lays out and then for all of you that never seen a book panel the instructions are right on the um, right on the one yard panel that you would buy and you could take it home and instructions included and then again here we have the selvage so there you have it, there's the book, and there you have the block prints, the different size blocks. All right, so next up we have a chicken line, and this one is called Chicken Scratch. So here we have a block print again. Good morning, Lisa. Um, so here we go. Roosters are always very popular. Look, let's see, Selvage, how many roosters are there? Maybe that's gonna be a question for one of my uh, quizzes. I haven't given out a prize in a really long time. But here's all the different roosters, nice rich red colors and, and black, um, all different kinds. Great for kitchen decoration or people that live on the farm or what have you. All right, so then we have this one also, which is, uh, these are blocks and these are different eggs and chickens and roosters and um, you know a lot of people are very uh, you know health conscious and they you know even one of the people in my office told me her son has his own chickens to make his own eggs because they're really healthy and uh, if you recall when I went to Ole Pennsylvania to visit Gail Kessler I got to hold her chicken and she gave me some eggs that really were like unbelievable compared to the ones that we get at the supermarket they're like butter my wife kind of scarfed them all down and didn't give me I had like one which was kind of annoying, but what else is new? All right, so here we go. Here are the prints in the group. So here's a stripe. You got all the little roosters. Yep, placemats would be great for these too, exactly. Here's a stripe. Then we have the feathers on the black and the brown. See, what's interesting here, look at this one. So you'd think this looks like very few colors on this black and gray print, but look at the screens. There's two, four, six, there's still seven screens, and the colors look very much the same, but there are a lot of different tones in there. So what looks like maybe one or two screen or one or two colors really is a lot more than that. So here you have your all over print, kind of the farm. And then you have your rooster. Someone's asking how many roosters are there. I'm not sure where you're asking, um, but on the block panel, it's two, four, six, eight, eight across on the block panel. I'm not sure if that answers your question. And that would be selvage to selvage uh, just in one row. So that was two, four, six, eight, eight. And then we have the barbed wire, which always sells well. And then we have the little chicken feed, good as a good, you know, border or kind of just a filler to have a little bit of rest. And then we have the eggs, and then we have our wood grain. These always do really well for us. You know, and, and a lot of times you could find these skews, they don't have to be used with this line. They could be used uh, with anything. This line, Sandy, is called uh, Chicken Scratch. And um, this one is by Annie Trow, T-R-O-E. All right, so I'm glad you like that. Let's do, I'm just gonna do a recap, quick little walk through and wrap it up on this line. So that's chicken scratch. And let's see, so that should have been five blank lines. Chickens, fish, firemen, uh, that one. So that's five. Okay, good. So that's, so you saw all the studio E and all the blank. And then 
and I'm going to give you a little, just a quick, another run through so you can see. I know you guys love to see. One thing I want to mention is that when I was laying out the fabric, and I'm not just saying this, it all feels so nice and yummy. The Korean quality is so excellent, it just feels like butter and it just slides right through my fingers. I, it was so slippery, I, I barely could, could keep it together. So, all right, so of course you know, so we have Studio E, we have Blank, and then of course we have Henry Glass. I am the president of Studio E and Blank, if you didn't know. Uh, Larry Reichenberg is the president of Henry Glass. Uh, he's been that for quite a while. He does a really nice job for us, and he's a great guy. If you haven't met him, uh, come meet him at Quilt Market. He, I'm sure he'd love to meet you. So um, this one is called uh, I Love You to the Moon and Back. And I'm going to show you the color card because, as you can see here, uh, what the designer sent me, I guess this certain mill sends it as a cap. So I could kind of flip through, but I didn't want to tear this apart. So there's the panel. There's the book, here's the stripe. Look how nice the stripe is. Nice stripe. Look how fun these animals are. Leanne Anderson has a very distinct hand. A hand meaning her, her handwriting is what I kind of mean, but that's kind of a term of art that we use. And these are her animals. Look how cute these guys are. Look at that giraffe, monkey, hippo. Look at this guy. He looks like Tony the Tiger. All right, so let's see. And then we have more of the animals in a different color. We have these rockets for the moon and back, obviously. We have it in an orange colorway. And then we have the yellow colorway that looks beige on the screen, but it's yellow. Uh, here's another beige one, different words in kind of a, uh, a uh, configuration. Let's see what it says. I love you just because, just as you are, always and forever, more than the stars in the sky. So really nice, you know, positive, inspiring, um, kind of feel good type of line. And then here's your little coordinate in red and blue, a little swirly. So that's to the moon and back. And I'm gonna just show you the color card. So here's the color card to the moon and back. Actually, so sorry, this line is by Leanne and her daughter, Caitlin. Caitlin is a lovely lady. She's always, she actually interned for us for a summer and uh, we always see her at Quilt Market and always like to see her and spend time with her. Great, great gal. So here we go here. So this is what you just saw. And then of course there's a book. You know, guys, if you don't, if you're not buying the books, you gotta check these books out. They're great gifts for your kids. They're easy to make. You can make them with your kids. They're fun. We have tons of these from all of our companies. They're almost inevitably the best seller every time we have them in a line. So one thing just to mention here, Leanne has her own basics. This is called the Houndstooth Basic, and we've had that around for a while. And then we have the Starry Basic, which is another one of her basics in a lot of different colors. So as you can see, it's Starry Basics pattern 8294, and then we have the color below each item. So if someone was to write an order, it would say 8294-88 or whatever. All right, so that's that. So for all of you um, One Sister um, fans, One Sister is um, what was formerly Buggy Barn. This line is called Itty Bitty. And uh, it just, it has that nice feel, the really rich colors. And you got your stars in this maroon, blue, and gold. You have this little, it looks almost, I, I don't even know how you describe this, but it's really, I love this. It almost looks like a yarn dye, the way, the way it's created. So this is nice. And then we have this little stripe in the brown and the green. And then we have this stripe in the pumpkin and the gold. And then we have these words on top of the florals in the beige, blue, and white. Uh, sorry, beige, blue, and like a like a, an off color. I can't read, but I believe, dream, and then there's a lot of writing in there. It's really too small for me to try to read right now. Um, and then we have these coordinating flowers and then some more coordinates, these little kind of starry things, uh, more flowers. It's funny, the colors on the screen look way different. Oh, I guess you guys like this. I see a lot of hearts. So uh, this is Itty Bitty again, and this is by One Sister Designs. This, and now, just so you know, I'm doing the Henry Glass slide. And this looks like a Dobby, but it's printed. So this is a really nice, rich, this is more of that Henry Glass look that you're used to, which is makes Henry Glass quite different from Studio E and Blank. Studio E and Blank have more novelty and more theme stuff. Uh, Henry Glass 
can make these, you know, this is like a Kim Deal look, um, or, or of course, um, One Sister Designs. So that's that. Um, uh, where is my list? So I have two flannel lines, and sorry, I gotta get my list, because I don't know the names off the top of my head, um, but here we go. So this is Shelly Kamiski, and her line is called Sleepy Bear Flannel. And again, this flannel feels so good. I can't even begin to tell you. It's super soft. It's the two-ply flannel. I don't know what's going on with the light, but there's like a glare. Look how cute these sheep are. The one with the newspaper print and the flower on it, that is by uh, One Sister Designs. That is from the Itty Bitty Collection. So again, these are from, uh, right now this is a Shelly Kamiski line. See, right here on the selvage. You can see her name is cut off, but Shelly Kamiski for Henry Glass. Henry Glass Fabrics, and then you have your selvage on the flannel. Uh, I'm guessing it's 18 on the flannel, but not positive, it might be a little less. So here's your little, you know, block print, the moon and clouds, some more stars, just a great baby juvenile line for a, a pajamas, a decorating a room, a, a blanket, a pillow, a whole set, a onesie, uh, it could be anything. All right, so, uh, this one is called Busy Bees, and again, I have the same problem as before. Uh, this certain mail, it's the same one. B Fashion Fashion Bridge sends the head ends. So this one is called Busy Bee, and let's see what this looks like. Look how cute these are. So I, I know we always do really well with bees. Uh, Utah is the bee state, but typically do really nicely with these. This is a nice juvenile one really fun, uplifting. I mean, look how, how fun this little guy is. So cute. And then we have the green version. And then we have the you know, jump roping. I mean, these people are so clever. I wish I could draw like this, but I can't, so I won't. And I will continue just to sell other people's awesome designs because I know what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. Yes, 18 is the magic number for the screens in Korea. If you want to do more, you need to do digital. Here we have a nice little floral. Okay, I don't know why all these are folded. Here we have black. When I first started, I remember uh, one, of the, one of the first things my dad said to me besides when I, I, he said, Scott, listen, this is what you have to do. All you have to do is sell. So in addition to that, he always used to say, everything looks good on black. And if you think about it, everything really does look good on black because it really stands out and pops, but it's so true. So we always like to include a line that has black. Um, and then this, I guess, is the panel. Look how cute this guy is. Look at this guy, he's drinking the honey out of the, out of the honey, not the honeycomb, out of the bee's nest. Very cute and clever way smarter than I am. And this one's sending mail to the honeybees. And then you have your little flower. And then you have the flower again. And then you have your stripe. So let's see your stripe. Look at how cute these guys are. Love this. So clever, so creative, so smart. Just really amazing. The things that people could do nowadays is just Unbelievable. Look at this guy, jumping rope, love it. All right, so that was Busy Bee. And this one, uh, I who is, I don't see a salvage, but I think it's by Needy Wad, Wadwe. All right, so then the last flannel line is uh, Bumblebee Garden. This one I just showed you was uh, called Sleepy Bear Flannel. And then this we have Bumblebee Garden. So, uh, who is this by? It looks like it's by Kim Deal. Let me try and get a salvage for you because I really need to be giving you the correct information. And unfortunately, I'm not on, as strong on my uh, Henry Glass as I am for Studio E because I don't run Henry Glass. Okay, so here we go. Bumble Garden by Kim Deal. All right, so all you guys, oh, and look at the salvage. Look at these cute little owls. Guess how many? Who knows how many owls there are? I bet you know by now if you're paying attention. So this is a Kim Deal line, 
and Kim Deal is a monster for Henry Glass, a monster in a good way, meaning her lines sell really well. There's an annoying glare, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, because the light's right over me. Ugh. Hope you guys aren't getting that glare. All right, there you go. So it's a lot of kind of like geos. Yeah, there you go, 18, you guys are getting it. A lot of geos, it's really fairly basic, but it feels so good. And I'm sure that Kim has a ton of good um, projects up her sleeve for this line that are really gonna make these prints shine and really turn them into something magical. So here you have it. And maybe, I don't wanna, let me see if I could go through the color cards. So let's do this again. So this is Busy Bee by Kim Deal. This is flannel. It feels so good. Oh, Tana Mueller, you're here. We were just talking about you. Your ears must be ringing. I was talking about your line. You remember this one? Everyone say hi to Tana. All right, so that's kind of it. I'm gonna do one more walk around the room just so you could get your last licks in. If you have any questions, now's a good time. I'll try to do the rapid fire answering. This is Sea Buddies by Blank Quilting, Tutus and Toe Shoes. More Tutus and Toe Shoes. And then we have Thin Red Line by Town Euler. And then we have all these different prints that go with it. We have the Stripe. We have the Home Sweet Home, great panel. And all the prints that go with the Home Sweet Home, including this Great one with all the houses. I could see all you guys making something great with these houses. And then we have the Boho Baby. These are the Studio E lines. We got this panel. This is kind of a native Indian sort of line, but fun in a real, real exciting, fun, happy way. TPs and arrows and, and um, dream catchers. And then love, love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here with me. This is called uh, Hearts of Love. This is by Charlotte Fultz. And then here you go with the rest of the coordinates. Get, get those Valentine's gifts ready, guys, for all those men and women in your life. And then here we have the Studio E108, Transparencies, and the beautiful Viva Terra by Marlin. Love these succulents. This is almost Free Spirit-esque, but uh, not on purpose. We Succulents are for everyone to use. And then we have these great rocks. I mean, how good are these rocks gonna be in any quilt? And then you have your panel. So, and then you have your Henry Glass. We got flannel, Busy Bees, and Teddy Bear flannel, and the other bee line. And then we got Itty Bitty by, um, by um, One Sister, To the Moon and Back by Leanne. And then we have more of the blank lines, the Sea Buddies, the Chicken Scratch line by Annie Trow. And um, that's it. So let's see. All right, guys, I survived another one. Always some technical difficulties, but again, gotta just keep plowing on. Can't let these things get you down and get all bent out of shape. Um, gotta keep going, gotta finish the show. I, as I told the people last night, I'm still not Tom Selleck or Tom Brady or anyone for that matter. Just a fabric guy doing videos because uh, I was told that 80% of what we consume on social media will be videos. So. I'm doing videos. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope this was helpful. I hope you go into quilt shops and I thank you for all the hearts. I hope you go into quilt shops and ask for these lines. If you can't find them, you could hit me up on Facebook. Um, I wanna remind everyone, we still have a contest going. It's called Scott Sent Me and basically uh, you could read about it at www.scottfortunoff.com and you can find out what you need to do. But the gist of it is to visit as many shops as possible from September 1st to November 31st. And I will be giving out prizes to the winner, $400 credit to your favorite quilt shop, plus free fabric for me for the winner, 300, 200, 100 respectively for the second, third, and fourth winners. So um, I'm ready, come on, bring it on. Can you go to 30 shops? Can you go to 40 shops? Can you go to 50 shops? When you go there, you tell them Scott sent you. Have a great day, guys. Love you. Peace.